I'm Krishna. I'm having 10 years of industrial experience working for a global MNCs as a lead cloud engineer and database architect. Also, I'm having a four years of experience in a corporate training. Hi, welcome to KSR Data Vision Snowflake training program. As part of the training program, we are going to see how to open a Snowflake trial account for 30 days with $400 worth of free usage Snowflake services and also a quick walkthrough on UI. So let's move on to the Google page to access the link. So as soon as you entered into your Google page, so type Snowflake trial account. And the first link you see here, the signup.snowflake.com, click that. So as soon as you entered into Snowflake program, the Snowflake page, it will route you to the Snowflake page, which you can see on the top of the link, that's a signup.snowflake.com. So in this, you will see the screen saying that this is start your 30 days free Snowflake trial, which includes a $400 worth of uses, free usage. Okay, what that means, the Snowflake account will be available for 30 days, okay, or $400 worth of free usage, whichever appears first. That means if your 30 days completes, the day you started from today, the 30 days completes, your account will expire, or if you use this $400 worth of free usage within 20 days or 25 days. So that's an end of your account. Okay, so which one appears first that will actually take you into your deactivation. So in future, if you want to practice a little more, so probably you just need to have an other email address to open this free account. Okay, so the prerequisite of this opening this account is just an email address. Hope everyone will have their own email address and which will be which can be used for opening this account. Okay, so and what is the use of this account, right? So you can gain immediate access to the data cloud. So that means whatever the data is just landed on a cloud or you want to land it on a cloud or access from a cloud. So you can uh, gain access from the Snowflake account and also for any workloads, data loading, data analyzing, data, you know, kind of modulating transformations, everything. So that also you can able to practice using this free, free account and also scale instantly elastically and near infinitely across the public clouds. So you can practice warehouses here. So you can practice the how much storage you're going to use or you want to see how much um, you know, cost you're going to do. So you want to increase the size of the warehouse. This all can also be practiced from this free account. Okay. And also Snowflake is a HIPPA, that's a health securities funds and the PCI card information. Okay, and SOC 1, SOC 2 are the securities. So all this also will be applicable for your free uh, you know, this free account. Okay. So as I said previously, the only thing we need to open this account is just an email address. Okay. So let's go through how to create and we'll quickly have a look at the UI as well. Okay. The details you need to provide, just provide your uh, first name and the last name. So I'm going to give something like this. Okay. So email address, So you provide your email address here and company XYZ. Okay, so India, so you can check box this if you want to get any uh, emails from, um, you know, Snowflake or if you, any events are going to happen. Usually there is events happen and they whenever they are going to start a new product or a new version, they're going to increase. So you will get a notification. If you are, if you like to get that notifications, you can just leave it. If you don't want to get that notification, just click this one, okay? And click next, okay? Next, we land into an next page. That's nothing but the addition of the Snowflake, right? So either you want to go with the standards, a very basic, uh, one where uh, uh, you get all the uh, you know uh, you know uh, services what you're going to get for enterprise and uh, business critical only thing is you know, where you can't data share stuff or uh, you know the HAPP stuff or you want to go into have the security levels of this that one all is not been provided into standard level so if you want to go for little more of advanced topics you want to explain uh, export then enterprise are the business critical business critical needs and you know extra you know, credits are a, a, some credit card to be tagged to it. So I always suggest to explore a advanced, little advanced topics in a, a Snowflake. So always go with an enterprise version. Okay. So once you go enterprise version, as uh, as we discussed in previous sessions, Snowflake is 
been uh, supporting right now for the cloud service providers, Azure, AWS, and a cloud platform. So you can choose any out of this, okay? So there is no restriction of using either one of it. You can use any out of it. So I would go with AWS. So it's not mandatory to go with AWS. You can go with GCP or Azure as well. Okay, so you can choose any, uh, you know, nearby location to it. So I'm choosing a Singapore for now. So you can choose Mumbai or whatever the near location you have. If it is a UK, UK, London, uh, US, you can go with the name California or any specific Northeast regions as well. So once you are set up with all this thing, just click here that you are agreeing with all the terms and uh, conditions with Snowflake and get start. Okay. So it is asking account setup is in progress. So why did you sign up for the Snowflake account today? So why we are doing so it's for the training or certification or other or personal learning. So I would select a personal learning and development. So it says that an email to activate for your account has been sent. So for me, that account is created. They sent an email for a confirmation. So I'm just submitting this. What I'm going, I'm just going back to my email address. Let's check out. So I got an email from Snowflake. So they're saying congratulations, taking first step. So all they want me to do is click to activate. Okay, so I activated now. So what I'll do is I'll give my username here. The username is nothing but a snowflake learning dot case or at gmail.com. Okay, so you can give your password. So it's saying you can have a you don't need to give email address, just a Snowflake username. I'm removing this as well. So I'm just giving username. You can give anything this one. It's not an email address, my bad, okay? I'll say that Snowflake, uh, probably say KSR, okay? And give the password, which you can easily remember. Saying it's not match. Let me try again. So it's matched now. So I'm going to create account. So now I got the Snowflake account created for me, okay? So this is the new UI, which been rolled out by a Snowflake recently called as a snow site. So you could see all the details from here, okay? So you can see worksheets, dashboards, um, you know, marketplace where you have the data, okay? So if you have, if you want to go through any documentation, so you can go through the documentation over here. It is very easy to access right now. Okay, you could see loading data or Snowflake architecture, warehouses and all. So if anybody wants to do an admin activity where they want to set up some rules and users and all stuff, you can do it from admin activities. So, and you can scroll down, you will see what's your profile or where exactly you've been landed your, uh, you know, uh, Snowflake account, is it AWS? Or all these kind of things you can able to see it in your profile. And these are all the rules uh, automatically providing by a Snowflake. So you can go through this stuff as well. Okay, so there are many, many other opportunities we have. So you can go through the worksheets if you want to start working on something like writing SQLs and all. All you need to do is write your SQLs here, just execute. Okay, so this is pretty simple. Um, so we can explore more about this, um, what and all services can be used here and uh, how really the worksheets we can use it here and how promptly we can able to, uh, you know, work on the warehouses or creating stages are working on the data sharing, cloning, and all in the further sessions. Okay, so this is a very simple, and um, uh, you can do it within a minutes of time, and you can activate it via your email. Also, um, as I said, the pre-request is just needed is just an email address. Okay, hope this session uh, helped you to uh, create an account and uh, pick site on a Snowflake UI. Okay, um, kindly stay to this. Uh, stay tuned to this KSR space for uh, more videos and training and more information on Snowflake. Thank you.